we're back here with one single one knit stitch one row of knit stitches we're gonna be starting with our heel so for the heel we're gonna be needing just two of these needles we're gonna be needing German shawl through so we're gonna be needing just two needles and here we have 20 stitches all together and we have to divide it by into three parts that will be six six and eight in between so one two three four five six what let's put this stitch marker one two three four Then it's six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we're going to be making our heels on here. Uh, for the German short row, we have to divide this into three parts. We have six, I have divided this into six here, six here, and all the rest is into eight here. For example, if your stitch has six, six, and six, you can do six, 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 or you can do six, six, seven. Basically, these two should be the same, and all the remaining stitches should be in the between. Now, let's start with the heel German short row. And we're just gonna turn our work. So what we do is yarn, put the yarn here, and we just take off the first stitch knitwise. So that we have two stitches here so after that we purl stitch marker and pearl all the way stitch marker place the stitch marker then Now turn the work around and similarly yarn over knit twice and pull it. Again we have two stitches and put the yarn back and again 
Bali Stitch marker Place the stitch marker So this is the double double We're not gonna double next stage. We're not gonna do anything and just turn around Turn around and repeat. Turn around and repeat. Yarn over. Repeat. Yarn over. Slip. And pull it. We have two stitches here and just purl the rest place the marker in Place the marker and then the pearl. So this is the double stitch. We're not gonna do anything and just turn. Again, we're gonna do in the same that is yarn over, yarn over, pull it. Here we have again two, put it the yarn back, and again start. So we, here we have now two double German double stitches. Now turn the work and continue on till we reach the marker from on both the side. So I'm done with all the double stitches here till the marker. Similarly on the other side 
I am done with all this double stitches till the marker. So for the next two rounds, we're gonna be doing a simple knit stitch from here to all the way here and I will show you. So we just did the double stitch for this one. Now let's put the yarn behind. Let's put the yarn behind. Transfer the stitch marker here and just simple knit stitch. Simple knit stitch transfer the stitch marker now these are all the double knit stitches we're gonna be doing this knit stitch from the back like this from the back similarly with this one from the back And this knit from the back knit on the back so we can see the heel is coming to turning on here now we're gonna continue with our knit stitches here you have to Pull it a tighter or you will get a gap in between. So now that we are done with all this side, we have reached the double stitches of this side and similarly we knit it from the back loop like this from the back loop from the back loop here from the back loop so we're done with this side as well now do one more knit run all the way and we will be back so here we are after two rounds of a knit stitch so before we started uh, doing our double stitch from here and onto here now we're going to be doing opposite we're going to be starting from here and then here so i'll show you so we transfer our stitch marker here and just knit all the way back till the stitch marker now we're just gonna take it off we won't need this anymore 
Now after stitch marker do one more after stitch marker do one more knit then turn around turn around and similarly how we did before we're just gonna yarn or we're just gonna do the same thing so we're gonna yarn over and take this off the needle and pull it pull it and create a double stitch and we're gonna knit all the way knit all the way to the stitch marker just remove it remove the stitch marker and knit one more and turn your work around and yarn over knit just tuck it and knit So we reach the double mark, double knit stitch here. So we're just gonna knit this from the back loop and knit one more and turn around. Turn around. And we continue with our double knit stitches that is yarn over and take it off our needle so we're just gonna continue with this so yarn over take it off the needle and pull it Pull it to create a double stitch. Pull it to create a double stitch, then continue the purling. continue the purling so here we are at the double stitch so we're just gonna purl purl it purl it and purl one more and turn around so you see how the pattern is going now yarn over and take this off the stitch pull to create a double loop, loop pull the yarn backwards and start knitting
so here we are again at the double loop so we knit from backwards knit one more and turn around and you see our heel is taking the shape uh, so now continue with these steps for all the stitches on the needle and your heel will be done. So now we are done with our <coughs> all the rows and if you have been uh, knitting along with me, you will have one double stitch on this side. Uh, our yarn is on this side and one double stitch on this side so I'm just gonna keep it there and I will now start knitting the round here so just tuck it tightly so that you don't have a very big gap so that you won't have any gap here, not too much. And here we have the double stitch. We're just gonna knit this one from the back loop. Just gonna knit it from the back loop here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So now here we are, we've again divided all the stitches, now we can continue making on our strawberries again, we can continue with the strawberries again. So since our attached yarn is on this side, I'm gonna be making it from here. So. So, just like before, I'm going to be starting my green from here. So, let's turn our yarn work in the back. So, let's Pick up the green, green yarn, and just work with it. Two.
done. So here we are. Now we're just gonna shuffle the stitches. We have five here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five here. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So continue making the strawberries as before. And here I have I have three more strawberries. It's up to you how long your foot is. For me, three was enough. And I'll show you when to stop making strawberries. So here is my drawing of the foot. And uh, you can continue making your strawberries and try it on your foot. And if you reach till here, you have to stop and we will make a decrease. So you can make... Uh, you can make your strawberries till you reach this point from your little toe and i will see you there